Now to the northern region where training teachers at the EP College of Education in Bimbela in the Nanumba North Municipality say the school's challenge with access to water is taking a serious toll on their lives on campus and on academic work generally. The school, which is one of the three teacher training colleges in the northern region, has had this water challenge for over 40 years with just one borehole serving the entire school. City News' Mohamed Aminu Alabira has the details. The Bimbila Training College was established in the 1960s and has over the years trained and produced thousands of teachers in the country. The college, since its establishment, has been having challenges with water supply and any student who went through the college lived with this. Students used to spend days in the Bimbila Township and even travel all the way to Wampu to get water. This problem has persisted up to today with current students also enduring the discomfort and inconvenience that comes with it. The school has only one borehole saving the whole campus including the kitchen. Yellow cans are very common to see on campus. Some students who spoke to City News say this situation is having a negative impact on their academics since some of them miss lectures as they spend several hours outside campus in search of water. The water is a serious case here. Each other has a season like this. We face a lot of problems because we usually do some things here which we need water to. Like to help us do it. Actually, you know, ladies' dormitory like this, scrubbing is a major way of cleaning our dormitory. And also bathing, washing, and other things, which we need water to, to carry out all this. And because of uh, the issue of the water, normally we go to first late, because we need to go to far places to fetch water. And even uh, this, uh, classes like this, we need to attend to as it's because of water. We go to search for water outside campus. The problem about the water crisis has been a problem that has been here for a very long time. But um, it's, it's, it's quite very interesting how we are able to survive because it's not easy. Looking around, you could probably see that we are using these yellow cans and at the end of every week we have to buy one can for 70 pesos. So statistically, we have to calculate. Within a month, we will spend maybe more than 100 cities for only a month. The women also raise concerns about insecurity in their hostels. They say they are constantly living in fear of possible attacks by men who either want to spy on them or take advantage of them. They attribute this situation to inadequate facilities on campus, such as a place of convenience, which forces them to sometimes attend to nature's call in the bush. The cemetery is located in the bush. It's far from campus and there are a lot of trees around and we can say that whenever we go to toilets or whenever we go out to ease ourselves a lot of people from outside come around to just look at us and some also do take pictures of us circulating it so i think that where we are is not safe at all it's not safe for me the ladies the principal of the college james ibrahim grundo spoke to city news about what is being done to address the school's numerous challenges I tried to source on the groundwater because there's no any nearby water source around. So we contracted uh, somebody in the area to do that. Really four wells <laughs> were dark, but we got water only in one. And of course the experts are saying it is the water table here is very low. So that is a problem. Now we have council. So I sort of concern of council to go all out to source the underground water there and then we can extend it to, to this place. So we not really have uh, security men to man the place. Uh, but of course we have able students and so we have formed a cadet corps and this really now patrol the area. I also talked with the police. They also once in a while patrol around the area. Even the military promised that they also patrol there once in a while. 